Hello GeoExplorers. Today I'm going to give you a brief description of our 3D Peace River Minecraft model. The model was developed at the Alberta Geological Survey, a branch of the Alberta Energy Regulator. This model has been stretched out vertically to give you a better picture of the rocks. We are going on a short tour lasting four and one half minutes. I'll point out a few interesting geological features in this part of Alberta. From up at the starting platform, you can see the present-day land surface in the Peace River region, with lakes, rivers, and hills. Beneath the surface, the colored volumes represent our broad bedrock units. Notice that they all dip to your left. All bedrock units in Alberta dip to the west toward the Rocky Mountains. We are now heading towards the town of Peace River. You can see the town as a series of white Minecraft blocks. The town of Peace River is located within a relatively low area on the land surface. From here, we'll travel along the land surface before we drop below the surface, or into the subsurface as we call it. The yellow sand blocks represent the location of the Peace River oil sands deposit. This is one of three major oil sands accumulations in the province. The oil sands in the Peace River area are approximately 750 meters below the ground surface. Next, we'll have a peek at the subcretaceous unconformity. An unconformity is a time gap in the rock record. The subcretaceous unconformity is important in Alberta, as much rock was eroded away during a change from a time of inactive to active mountain building. If you look to your right, you'll see the unconformity on the top of the green and blue colored blocks. From here, we'll go deeper into the rocks. We'll make our way toward the Peace River Arch, named after the town of Peace River. The arch is a major feature within the basement rocks, or oldest rocks of Alberta. It was like a massive hill, but is now located well below the surface. It stayed like this for a long time, until part of it collapsed into a series of faulted rocks. You can see the faulting reflected in the folded-looking nature of the blue and orange-colored Minecraft blocks. Next, we'll have a look at the basement rocks. These are a variety of igneous and metamorphic rocks that are very old relative to the rocks above them. The basement rocks in this area can be greater than 2 billion years old. Depths to these basement rocks range from 1 to 3 kilometers from the surface. Above these rocks is the much younger Devonian bedrock. At the time those rocks were deposited, Alberta was actually located near the equator, where the ocean was warm and shallow. We'll move up to the younger Carboniferous to Permian rocks, which sit above the Devonian. These rocks were deposited in the Peace River area after the Peace River Arch collapsed. The top of these units are missing and form the subcretaceous unconformity that was mentioned earlier. Lower Cretaceous bedrock units sit on top of the unconformity. These rocks contain the Peace River oil sands. Above this sits the younger Upper Cretaceous rocks that are very close to the ground surface. The surface rocks formed during a time when glaciers covered Alberta. The glaciers melted away about 13,000 years ago. The melting of glaciers formed the shape of the present-day land surface. Back on the land surface, we'll traverse across the top of the model where we can see two major lakes. As we rise toward the starting platform, turn around and have a look back at the model. We get a great view of a thickness of over four kilometers of rock deposited over two billion years of geological time. For more information on the Peace River model, go to the Alberta Geological Survey website at ags.aer.ca. You will also find other, even bigger 3D Minecraft models that can be downloaded from the AGS website.